Hello, all of my aunts. It's Sinu here, back with another game called Antumbra. And I don't know that much about this game yet, but it's a browser game, so you can play it for free on, I think, Congregate, Game Jolt, and something else, maybe Newgrounds or something like that. But let's go and begin. I'm really interested in finding out what it's like. Warning, this game has content which, may, which many can find offensive and or disturbing. Also, the game is very hard and unforgiving, so don't be surprised if to have trouble solving the riddles. This is not Flappy Bird or casual genocide. In order to finish it, you will need to think outside of the box. Don't get used to any rules of the game as they constantly change, bend, and twist. Think of it as the dark souls of adventure games. You will fail. Over and over. Get used to it, it's fine. Everything you will experience is exactly as planned. And remember, there always is a solution. Smiley face. Alright, let's begin. I'm really curious as to how this is going to be difficult and how I'll be dying a lot. Alright, you woke up in a dungeon. It smells... Let's use a better voice. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear distant sounds of scratching, and it's heading your way. What do you do? Oh god. Wait, run the other direction, or look around? Hmm. I'm going to look around. I don't think I'm going to run away. Look around. Okay, well, you've been looking around for too long. You're dead, James. Alright, looks like I'm dead, and time to restart. Jesus, look at this thing. It's like a... It makes me think of amnesia monsters. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear distant sounds of scratching, and it's heading your way. What do you do? Let's wait. Even though it's probably going to kill us again, I'm curious. You wait a bit. The sound is coming closer. Really? Alright, let's wait again. Hmm. You wait again. It's almost here. It came. You're dead, Robert. My name changed. What? Okay. Let's go ahead and this time we're just gonna run away. Run the other direction. As you run down the corridor, you find yourself in a metal vault. You can hear something running behind you. If you don't act fast, it'll reach you. Should I go right, go back, or go forward? You gotta go right, dude, it's left. Or I mean, you gotta go left, dude, it's right. You haven't locked doors behind you. You're dead, Christopher. Click to restart. My name changes in every game. You woke up. We already know this. So we're going to run the other direction. And should we go back and it'll give us the option to lock the door? Is that it? Oh, maybe not. You haven't locked doors behind you. You're dead, Christopher. Click to restart. All right, let's do this again. That's really creepy. All right, run the other direction. Go forward. What? Is this for real? You haven't locked doors behind you. You're dead, Richard. Click to restart. Did I just choose all of the different options and it didn't work? Alright, so, if I run the other direction, that's the only one that had me live that first time. Go forward, go right, go back. I tried all three of those and died, didn't I? It said you haven't locked doors behind you. How do I lock the doors behind you? Alright, so, what if I look around again? No, that didn't work either. What if I wait? Then, look at no. Okay, let's wait and then run the other direction. Run the other direction. Go forward? No. Okay, we're definitely gonna get through this. As it said, wait, what's this? Is this how I find out, like, what I've made it through already? I have no idea. I'm sure that we'll figure this out as we make progress. Alright, let's go again. Wait, run the other direction, look around. If I look around, he kills us, so it's not look around. If I wait... And then wait again. And then look around? No. Okay. If I... Come on. Wait. Wait. Look around? No. Wait. Did I just do the same thing twice? I might have. Run the other direction. So you run down the corridor, you find yourself in the vault. You can hear something going behind you. If you don't act fast, it'll reach you. Oh my god, there are things I can mess with in the environment! This helps. This appears to be a door switch, which you quickly pull. Doors behind you close, and you hear a strong bump and a loud inhuman scream. 
We figured it out. Hey, Ami Miranda, how's it going? Alright, let us continue. It was James, it changes, I guess. Alright, go forward, go right, or go back. Let's try going right. You enter a hallway. There are dozens of doors at both sides of the corridor. At the end, you see a wall of... water? Alright, I don't think I can mess with anything in the environment. Should we observe? The liquid wall is still far away. Corridor is silent. You hear only your own breathing. Okay. I guess step forward. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. That is so creepy. Should I observe? The liquid wall is still far away. Corridor is silent. You hear only your own breathing. Step forward. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. Again, the same thing. Oh my god, what is that? Shadowy being manifests in front of you and quickly starts tearing your body like paper. You die in agony. Charles being butchered alive. Click to restart. Let's see if I have anything here I can mess with. I don't... I don't think so. Okay. So, I run the other direction. I definitely want to close this door. Anything else I can do here? Alright, let's close the door. I'm thinking that we want to stay here. We probably don't want to go down that other corridor. Because I think we did almost everything we could have. This appears to be a door switch, blah blah blah. We already read this uh, in Human Scream. What if we go back? Do we open the door again and get- You can't, the doors are locked, and the switch jammed. Okay, that works. Go forward. Oh my god. It makes me think of Aoni. Reality around you bends and twists. You find yourself in the middle of the forest. There is a path leading forward, but someone is in your way. He is wearing an odd mask. It's not a mask. That is so creepy. Can okay, it looks like I can mess with him. There's another, like, mask face thing over there, but it seems like it's on a tree, not a person. Alright, let's try messing with this. He is smiling, friendly. The aura of understanding and compassion surrounds him. Are you being serious? He does not seem friendly to me. Can I mess with him again, or is that it? That's creepy. Alright, let's go forward. The man speaks. Don't go there! Please, you can't. You will be hurt. I won't let you go. I love you so much. You are everything I have. I don't even know you, dude. Who are you? Alright, so should I punch him or should I go forward? Our choices are both choices that might in er, anger him and endanger us. Punch or go forward? Let's just go forward. Let's see what happens. The man speaks. Don't go there. Okay, so it's the same thing. We have to punch him. We have to punch him. You punch him in the mask face. He takes the punch. His eyes bleed. You feel a sudden rush of satisfaction. You want more. Whoa. Am I a psychopath? It seems as though I want to kill. I don't know if this is a good thing. Let's try going forward. I don't know if I want to kill him. I mean, he didn't even attack us back. He takes the punch. Man speaks. I have no choice. You kick him in the stomach and he bends in pain, but quickly recover to his initial stance. Blood is pouring down from underneath the mask. It feels so good. Oh my god, we only have one choice. We are being forced to kill him, I think. Slice his throat. You slice his throat. He chokes and, da and gags with his blood yet remain standing in your way. Just die already. Kill him, break his neck. We can't go forward. Kill him, break his neck, we have to. His neck snaps like a dry branch, he died. He is still standing even after death, but he is an obstacle no more. Ecstasy overwhelms your mind and body. I can no longer observe him or mess with him or whatever. So now it's either go forward or go back. I'm guessing we're gonna go forward. This is kind of crazy. Do I have anything over here yet? I do. Braun's stubborn. Don't worry, this is normal. Clapping, getting hang of it. Clapping slowly. Grads, you passed the test. You are intelligent and persistent enough. 
for me to let you play the rest of my game. I guess over time we'll uncover more of those achievements. It's time to go forward. You come to a crossroad. There's something in the dark. You can hear it moving beside the bushes and trees. Oh god. That does not make me feel comfortable. Go left, go right, or go back. We have to choose one. I'm gonna go with left or right. I'm thinking I'm gonna go left because it's right. Right, guys? You gotta go left. Oh my god. Through bushes and trees, you come across a small cottage. A presence is walking around the house, ensuring no one will pass. Go into the house, talk, or go back. Let's try talking. You take a step forward and the creature instantly blinks right in front of you. Inches away from your face, it doesn't interact, but all its eyes are staring at you. You feel uneasy. I don't know if I want to try going in. It doesn't interact, but all its eyes stare at you. I don't know if I want to talk to it anymore. I'll try going into the house, but I think it's going to kill me. Oh my god, you suddenly find yourself in a weird void. I am pride. Bow before me. Kneel and beg. Ask for forgiveness. Speak, you disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. I am stupid or go to hell. I mean, if I cooperate with it, maybe it'll let me into the house? I don't know. I'm gonna cooperate. Of course you are. You are a brainless, mindless bag of meat and bones. My mother lo never loved me. <laughs> you bet she didn't. You are a disgrace. You ruined her life. I have no future. Of course you have. And a bright one. You'll live doing pointless things and you'll die. Leaving behind nothing but rotting meat and bones. You'll die unmissed, unnoticed. I am weak and miserable. Huh, what? Can you repeat that? Oops, uh, wait. Did I just... I don't even know. I said louder! Yes, that's the spirit. Ready to die? Then I grant you death. You are now free from me for a time. Broken and bleeding, crawling at the bottom. Now you have the chance to rise beyond. See you soon. Oh wow, I actually died. I was thinking it was going to be like, oh you press die and he's like, oh so you want to die? Then you will live the rest of your life in hell. Or something like that, but... Alright, so we know what to do, so we'll close the door. Go forward. We have to beat this guy up until he dies, which is terrifyingly horrible, but we're gonna keep it going. We just have to kill him again. I'm gonna try going back this time, just to see if there's something back there. Yes, his name is Pride. Oh, I have to show him Pride. Interesting, that makes sense. I didn't think of it that way. Alright, go back. You still can sense presence behind the doors. You can't. They're locked and jammed. Okay, I think we have to go forward. Alright, go forward. We'll go left again and see if we can make it past this guy this time. Alright, so let's talk. What if we talk again? Alright, so it's the same thing. Alright, we'll go into the house. I am pride, bow before me. Kneel and beg, ask for forgiveness. Speak, you disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. Go to hell. We are in hell, silly willy. Your own private personal hell. I'll say it again. It doesn't seem to be changing things. Let's do this. Alright, let's try go to hell now. Okay, this again. You bet she didn't. You were a disgrace. You ruined her life. I have no future. Oh, of course you have. It's the same thing. Go to hell. I'm weak and miserable. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Nope. 
What did you say? Say it louder. I can't hear you. 